We are at the Ivan Ramen Slurp Shop here in Gotham West Market, and I'm here with Ivan Orkin. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, well, thank you. It's so great to today, see you. today we're talking about something pretty exciting for ramen aficionados because it's unusual. We're talking right. about breakfast ramen. Yes. So what makes a breakfast ramen? Just to start out with. Ramen in generally, even the type, the type that I generally make, which is a bit of a lighter style. Mm -hmm. It's really rich. It's got it's got a good fat component. Yeah. It's got a good salt component, and then of course it's got all those noodles. So it's got the carbs and the starch and everything. So you know what I mean? It's that's everything a, you want from breakfast. Everything you want from breakfast. So in a, in a way, it's kind of natural, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so let's talk about some of the basic items that you need to have to go into a ramen. Your broth is a dashi broth. So yes. explain what that is and sort of how you start with the pillars of ramen to make it then into a breakfast ramen. Well, I mean, in general, ramen is made up of uh, atade, which really just means sauce in Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, fat, very important, whether yeah. it's pork or chicken or beef, mm -hmm. it's some kind of fat, yep. or sometimes vegetable oil, um, and soup. Mm -hmm. Right, so that you combine those three to really get your flavor, mm -hmm. um, and then a noodle, and then almost always some kind of a meat topping, and maybe some type right. of scallion. Um, in this case, so we, we we decided to take the dashi, which is uh, which is shaved bonito, which is sort of a a, a fish that's been uh, uh, dry, steamed, smoked, and dried till it's rock hard, and then shaved. And you blend that with uh, kombu, which is uh, seaweed, and make a soup out of that. Is I've taken this smoky soup, and I've melted New York State cheddar cheese into it. Um, so it's really fluid and nice and, uh, and creamy. Um, and then I take the thick noodles that we make from whole wheat flour. We add those. And on top, we're putting in uh, an, egg, an omelet mm -hmm. made with scallions. Um, cooked in little sheets and cut into julienne, you know, and piled on top. And then I'd fall in love with Taylor ham. Mm. So Taylor ham is uh, basically, it's like a pork roll, you know, it's like a bologna. Um, it's so good. Everything you want from breakfast in a bowl. And then when you fry it, it gets all crispy and chewy and, and in just enough fat that sticks to your lips. Mm. It really is, I'm made for ramen in my opinion. Yeah. And so why do you think that ramen melds so well into breakfast culture? Because obviously, you know, you've been known for doing a lot of crazy, fun, interesting things with ramen, but why breakfast in particular as such a perfect marriage for the next stage of your ramen? Well, you know, ramen is really the uber comfort food. It's noisy, it's messy, uh, it's really fun to eat, and it, and as we were talking about, it hits all those things, right? The, yeah. the carbs and salt and fat and it's gooey and and it's just, it's got all that stuff you want, and that and that's and breakfast, right? Made in heaven. It is. And it, and, <laughs> You know, I don't even know why I didn't think of it sooner, you know? Um, well, thank goodness you thought of it now. Yeah, it's can, really great. Will you show us how to make it in the kitchen? Can we go back in the kitchen yeah, and make some ramen? absolutely. I All will. Right. All right, so we're back in the kitchen, and I'm going to make you a bowl of uh, Ivan ramen, breakfast ramen, as promised. We make delicious noodles here. They're sort of my recipe from Japan that I have the folks at Sun Noodle make for me. We're going to be using a whole wheat noodle for this recipe. Uh, it's a, it's a thicker noodle, which works really well with the thicker, heavier soup. So the, you know, the texture and the flavor of the noodle doesn't get buried under, you know, such a heavy soup. Um, takes a little more than two minutes, so we're going to start it while we get the other things going. So the, the soup is basically, you know, the, the, uh, the soup at Ivan Ramen is mostly based on my double soup of whole chickens. In this particular one, rather than using the chicken, I use just the dashi and then we uh, melt New York State cheddar cheese into it. And uh, so that it's really cheesy and yet it has a nice uh, aromatic dashi kind of thing going on uh, in the background. We're gonna go ahead and take a nice ladle of this. Some people may suggest that it's like Cheese Whiz. I would say that it is not. It is a handcrafted soup that's been made from some pretty kick-ass ingredients. Um, and then really nice quality cheese uh, melted into it. And I mean, I really tried very hard, you know, it, it's, it's very comforting. Um, it's a really great, you know, and sometimes in the morning you really want to have that rich thing going on. But I think that by using the, the dashi, there's a certain amount of gentleness in the soup that really works. So we shake off all the water so we don't, you know, we work so hard to get the soup just right, we're going to dump extra water into it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick that up and kind of blend it in a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and garnish it. 
All right, so we're going to take some scallion omelet, which is really just, you know, nice, uh, very thin omelet folded over a couple times and then cut into strips. And we're going to take some Taylor ham, a little of this katsu bushi powder on top, which is once again that smoked fish we use in our dashi but made into a powder. So it adds a little burst of flavor. And then just some simple scallions on top. Well, that's the dish. Thanks so much for watching. This is the breakfast ramen at Ivan Ramen.